Isn't life amazing? You know, even just standing, listening to nature around you when you've been diagnosed with something so not, not very clever. It's amazing, you know, I'm stood here, yeah, there's a car just gone by, but I'm stood here and I'm listening to birds. Isn't it amazing how, how different things are when you've been diagnosed with cancer? You know, we're having a little sit by the pool today only because the weather's changed a little bit. It was raining this morning and it's just very windy now. We're hid in between a, a couple of walls and stairs just by the side of our pool. But even looking at the pool always looks different to what it would have done before. So uh, taking life for granted, I suppose, taking things for granted seems a good subject to talk about today. But first, <laughs> this is where I live. This is our swimming pool, okay? It's shared between a few of us. But, um, and that's pretty much it. We live on just on the outskirts of Malaga, uh, in Fuenquirola, um, and we're very fortunate. Uh, the sea is just over the other side of that hedge, as you can see, just there. <laughs> now, taking life for granted, I mean, I think we all, we're all, you know, we're all uh, guilty of doing this myself included you know um, you know it's a perfect example when I was a fighter I used to take the medical health care for granted really um, because I'd just go in there with a broken nose or broken fingers or broken arm or broken chin or whatever or my face hanging off and I would just expect them to fix me you know and yeah say thank you and all the rest of it they're just nurses just doctors but actually I don't think we I don't think we take them for granted enough I don't think we appreciate them enough for me I can't praise the healthcare system in the UK the NHS enough and I don't think I ever will be able to because they spent so much money on me keeping me alive and you know uh, I mean in the beginning they wouldn't treat me but you know we fought on them and, and we got them to treat me in the end but I didn't really take them for granted before that. I mean, why don't we take things for granted until, you know, it's too late, essentially. You know, we start seeing things very differently. I mean, in my very first video I did, I said, I actually now see trees. You can see these couple of palm trees swaying in the, rain, in the wind. I'll sit here and I'll watch those swaying in the wind because that's the sort of thing I do. <laughs> But I just find it fascinating, you know, the different things in life. The swimming pool, for instance. The ripples on the swimming pool, I, I equally find that fascinating. You know, I'm sat on some steps now, and they're made of um, sleepers, railway sleepers. Um, and that's equally as fascinating, because they used to be a tree. It's just things in life when we take so many things for granted, and we don't really appreciate things enough, I don't think. I don't think I appreciate my wife enough, really. You know, I sort of take it for granted that she she cooks the food, she puts it on the table. You know, she buys the ingredients to be able to cook the food. I mean, my food. I mean, I'm a bit, a bit anal these days on what I eat. You know, I, I eat very very clean, uh, and there's specific foods that I that I have. I mean, that's it. I mean, she she always seems to have it, and she has it on the table. So I suppose, in a nutshell, I, I take my wife for granted as well. Now I do, well, you know, she gets the thanks off me, you know, the love you and all the rest of it, you know, I appreciate my wife. Maybe I just don't, you know, I don't, I, I take her for granted just a little bit, just because I expect it to be there. There's other things in life that we take for granted, you know, even mobile phones. I mean, I do all my vlogs with a mobile phone. I suppose we take those for granted really, they're more of a social device now, not a telephone. I do use it as a telephone, but I'd say 90% of the time, my main, probably more than that, 90 something percent of the time, my phone isn't used as a phone, it's used as a social device, you know, for camera, for Facebook, for YouTube. You know, I, I do a lot on YouTube nowadays, so maybe I, I take my phone for granted because it's not actually a phone. Uh, my, my glasses, you know, it's silly things, you know, you could go on and on and on all day. So I think taking life for granted. Now let's move on to 
taking cancer for granted and the treatments. There's so many people, I mean myself included, that take cancer for granted. You know, I would always say years ago, nah, never happened to me, never happened to her, too fit. But actually it did. You know, I sort of took it for granted that it would never happen to me. And you know, and I'm not saying to people, go and dive in and be really, really worried because you might have cancer. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying don't take it for granted, you know, to the point where maybe do a little bit of study, but maybe change your health, maybe change your diet, maybe change the way you do things, maybe go to the gym or go for a walk, a long walk. I've been out for a walk this morning. I still haven't been to the gym since last week because I injured myself on a motorbike accident. And I've not been feeling very well. But, you know, maybe go to the gym, change your diet, change the what you drink, you know, change how much alcohol you drink. Change what you put in your body, essentially, because cancers obviously start inside the body, apart from skin cancer, and that, even that starts inside the body. Um, so, you know, we take things for granted, we take cancer for granted, and I think if we, if we didn't take cancer for granted as much as we did, maybe there would be a pretend, a preventative action that we could do. Maybe we could, you know, prevent ourselves from getting it, I suppose. It might not, you know, but I think if we didn't take the word cancer for granted, and we weren't so afraid of that horrible word, maybe you people that haven't got it or maybe you know the people that fingers crossed will never have it maybe you're the sort of people that can cure the cancer because if it's not there where will it come from it's the same as measles you know people took measles for granted and it was a big killer and you know back in the day they found a vaccination it took a long time but they found one they're doing the same with cancer but i you know i wholly believe that cancer is is a lifestyle thing you know the cancers out there and I think if we look back at what we did or how we did things maybe that was a contributing factor I don't know I've had a lot of injuries I've had a massive injury on my left hand side well my cancer started on my left hand side so maybe that's what I mean they do say trauma could be a starting point for cancer uh, and maybe that was it I don't know I don't know, you know. So, taking things for granted. Let's try not take things for granted as much as what we do. Um, you know, let's just not see things, take things for granted as much as what we do. So listen, a bit boring today, I know, but like and subscribe to the channel, do what you do, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>